Did I literally buy every single pair of inner soles just so you could get the right size? Yes, I did. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and side effects include getting addicted to Doc Martens. Sorry about that. Now you're probably here cause A, you're new to this and you wanna get some Doc Martens and you wanna get the right size. B, you already bought Doc Martens and you got the wrong size or C, you kind of love my sparkling personality. I think that's pretty unlikely. So in today's video, I'm gonna take a deep dive into Doc Martens sizing to make sure you get the right size. And if you already have up, don't worry. Stay till the end and I'll tell you a few hacks on how to hopefully fix up your docs and maybe they will fit for you. No promises, but have a look at the end. So not all Doc Martens are the same, obviously. Some fit tighter, some fit looser, and that's because they actually come in lots of different shapes. So I went digging through the internet and I found you guys the best information about the different shapes. Honestly, it was just on the Doc Martens website, but I'll put this in the description below slash maybe on my website so you can have a closer look. But basically the main shapes are 95 last, which is the 1460s slash 1461 vintage. And they are square toe and generous, generous, generous width. <laughs> You'd think I could say gen. And that is the typical Doc Martin sizing for most of the like original docs. Something like, say this. Then we got the 84 last, which is the 1461 PW, which I think is the women's shoe. The 3989s and the Adrian loafers. So it's a bit more of a tapered toe and a smart look is what they like to say. So it's a bit better, I would say for a female, just cause your feet are a little bit tinier. And I believe my 1461s that I have here are the women's ones. So as you can see, they are a little bit more narrow and my feet don't fall out cause they're pretty tight. Then we got the 261 and 262 lasts, which are the 2976s, the 1914s, and the 1461 smooths. So basically a lot of the Chelsea boot styles and yeah, 1461 smooths. So this style is more of a men's cut. It's a comfort and classic look and yeah, more of a unisex sizing for if you've got a wider foot as well. And then the last one they have is the 263 last, which is the 1460 Peyton Pascal, the 1B99 and the Serena's, which are all styles that are more of a ladies fit. So this is a ladies comfort round, generous toe shape. And so obviously that is more for ladies. So what does that information tell us? Basically that if you're going for certain styles, the sizing will be slightly different. So it's good to kind of have a look at that size range to check that you're getting the right size. So for me personally, I am a UK six in most of the Doc Martin styles, but I'll tell you how they vary between the different lasts. I have a foot that is 25.4 centimeters, depending on the day. And that is, just making it in <laughs> to the size category of a UK six. Now I literally went around and traced every one of the inner soles so I could get accurate sizing for you guys. So a UK six, if you can see here is 25.6 centimeters. I don't think you can see that, but it's 25.6 centimeters from the top to the bottom of the inner sole, like tippy top to the bottom. And somehow my foot fits in there with 0.2 centimeters to spare. So yeah, honestly, you probably want a tiny bit more room than that. But because my foot is so, so narrow, when I size up to the next size, which is a UK seven, the overall shoe is just a bit too roomy in the rest of the shoe. So I compromise and just have my toes basically touching the end of the shoe. So with a regular 1460 shoe, I find that the shoe is pretty wide for me. My toes do fit to the end, like I said, but the rest of the shoe, I need to fill it up. So I wear an inner sole to kind of thicken the area inside or else these would just like wobble all over my feet. And I'm telling you this information so you can compare and contrast with your feet. So if you had just say like a regular kind of size foot, then this would fit pretty well for you. As well as if you had a wider foot, I think this would fit well too, but definitely go by your accurate like sizing lengthwise. So if my foot was more of a wider foot and I had this little room at the front of it, I think I would size up to UK seven. 
I'm not 100% sure what last the Jadens are, but I, they're definitely more of a narrow fit. These ones fit really well for my narrow foot. Not too much room. I don't have to add an inner sole. For a regular 1461, which is a unisex fit, I find that my feet kind of are swimming in this, but I do just wear thicker socks to help that work. And also this section here is quite wide, so if you have small ankles, you'll probably be slipping out a lot. But then with the narrower women's 1461, which is kind of hard to work out if you're buying, but if you work that out, um, this one is very tight and took ages to wear in, but once I've worn it in, they're the perfect size, fit like a glove. With something like a Chelsea boot, I find that I do bobble around a little bit in it, but you kind of need that or else it'd be like too tight to get your foot in when you have to slide it in. Mary Janes, again, are more of a narrow fit, more of a female foot fit. Um, yeah, so they fit a bit tighter and you can have the ability of not wearing socks with these, so I think that's why. But then in contrast, we got the Beth in, which I find is a very weird size. It's like kind of wide. I always have to have it buckled the tightest it can go. And I have to wear inner soles just to um, thicken it up. It's just like such a wide shoe for some reason. So if you're planning on buying these, just know that detail. And then we got sandals, which are super hard to size. And I would highly recommend you go into the store to try them on. Because they're not a boot, you're not wearing socks with them. But then the, the length of them is typically like the same length as a boot. So... Yeah, I recommend sizing down to have more of a fitted look. These are actually UK 4, which is two sizes too small for me. But I just fit them. I thrifted them, so I just had to get them. But my best pair of sandals that I have is actually UK 5, which is one size down from what I usually wear. So yeah, I would recommend sizing down in sandals if you have a narrow to regular foot. But if you have a wide foot, maybe just go with your regular sizing because yeah, sometimes the straps can be kind of tight. So this is how they fit for me, UK6. This is how they fit for my mom. She's got a regular foot. I think she is a UK4. And this is how they fit for my dad, which is a regular men's foot. Obviously, I don't have an example for everybody's feet, but what I have done is I have actually measured every single one of these inner soles so I can correctly, perfectly give you guys the right sizing information for this video and I'm going to go into every size now. Because I figured that the inner soles kind of are made to fit in pretty much most of the Doc Martens so I thought this could be an accurate size. I have measured them from the tippy tippy top to the tippy tippy bottom. So just know like your foot does not go to the top and the bottom. You may want a little bit of room in from that for the size of your shoe because you don't want your feet just like going right through the leather. Although clearly I don't really take my own advice because my toes basically go to the end. So I've added timestamps for the section so you can click to your size. Maybe just check the size above, size down and um, kind of rule your feet. I um, just kind of stood on the ruler to try figure out the sizing. Also disclaimer guys, um, if you get the wrong size after this whole video, I am so sorry, but I'm just trying to give you some good information and if it doesn't work out, I tried my best. So I have measured from top to bottom, also the width from here to here, which is quite wide, and here to here, which is a little bit more narrow. So the first size we have is a UK3 and the sizing from top to bottom is 23.1 centimeters and across we have 8.5 centimeters in the widest point plus 6.3 centimeters across this section here. Now you guys are so lucky because you can fit the kids section and you can get discounts which is amazing. UK4 you are at 23.9 centimeters from top to bottom and you got 8.6 centimeters across across, across this width and 6.2 across this width. UK5, you got 24.8 going from top to bottom as well as 8.6 across the width up here and 6.4 across the width here. As I said, UK6 is 25.6 top to bottom. Usually they say it's like 25.5, so yeah. 
give or take a millimeter and across the side here we got nine centimeters across the width and 6.6 .6 across the ankle width uk7 we got 26.5 from top to bottom 9.1 across the bigger width and 6.4 across the ankle. UK8 we got 27.4 from top to bottom, 9.4 across the wider width and 6.6 .6 across the ankle width. UK9 we got 28.4 from top to bottom as well as 9.5 across the wider width and 6.6 .6 across the ankle width. UK10 I mean boy we're getting bigger like when I had to trace this on the paper I had to use two pages. But um, <laughs> UK10, you're 29.1 centimeters from top to bottom, as well as 9.8 centimeters across the wider width and 7.2 across the ankle width. UK11, you just fit into my ruler. That is 30 centimeters from the top to the bottom, as well as 10 centimeters across the wider width and 7.2 centimeters across the ankle. And UK12, you are 30.8 centimeters from top to bottom, as well as 10 centimeters across the wider width and 7.3 centimeters across the ankle width. So that is all the sizes I have on hand. We got UK3 to UK12. There are a couple of sizes that I've left out, like the kid sizes or anything bigger than 12. So I'll put any of that extra information on my website as well as hopefully a printout of the sizing um, if I can work out how to print that out. Because I don't want to be liable for you guys printing it out on tiny, tiny paper and then being like, Jen, I got the wrong size. So maybe you already have Doc Martens and they just don't fit right. Well, uh, neither do mine. So I just do a lot of hacks to make them work because I love them so much. So if they're fitting too big, all you have to do is add an inner sole. You've really got so many options. You can add an inner sole like this one from Doc Martens that I traced around for this video, not sponsored, but I wish it was. Yeah, that will fill up the shoe and it will probably make your toe a little bit closer to the front and just generally fill up the shoe. You can also add ankle gel guard thingos that will fill it up even more at the back side, as well as you can wear double socks, thick socks, and really you can do so much to just try thicken them up. Even if they're too like big at the front here, you could add some like tissue or like, I don't know, just fill it up with something and it should fit. So if your docks are too small, um, there's not so much you can do because like you can't really adjust length that much, but do try take out the inner sole of your Doc Martens. These ones are a little bit tight on me and I just took out the inner sole. Oh, I can't believe ex I'm exposing this sole, but yeah, I took out the inner sole of these shoes and now they fit better. They're not as comfortable, but they fit better. But not all Doc Martens have a removable inner sole, so it's always good to check that before you buy them. There are also a few hacks out there to try stretch these out which could help. Um, you can fill a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag with water, put it in there and then put it in the freezer and it should expand. And hopefully it could loosen these up a bit for you. But yeah, as I said, the length probably won't change. So if your toes are crunched at the front, maybe just go sell them and start again. So that has been the ultimate Doc Martin size guide. I hope it's helpful for at least some of you who need to know exactly the size for Doc Martens. Sorry it's such a long video, but I needed to go in depth to make sure that you got the right size because if you're anything like me, I just want to research the shit out of things and make sure I get the exact right thing. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. My name has been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You'll see a lot more Doc Martin videos in the future. And until next time, keep wondering.